All right, hello, and thanks for joining us uh, today on our Google Plus uh, interview podcast with um, PPOC Ontario. Uh, my name is Brian Capricci. I'm the chair for the Hamilton Niagara branch of PPOC Ontario. We're joined today with uh, the PPOC Ontario president, Robert Noel, and uh, PPOC Ontario Central Portrait Branch chair, Story Wilkins. Um, today, we're going to have Story talking about an event that Central Portrait Branch is hosting coming up on Monday, May the 27th. It's taking place in Toronto from uh, 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. I've got the flyer up there so you can take a quick look and you can definitely get more information online and Story's going to talk a little bit more about it in a few minutes. So uh, we're going to get right over to this and uh, Story, thanks for joining us. Um, let's give us a little bit of introduction about what the event is all about and what Arthur's all about. Sure. This is such a special opportunity for us. A, a speaker who is as talented and educated and helpful to other photographers as Arthur just does not come easily and especially for us to be able to have him at our branch for uh, a whole day for only two hundred dollars it's it's pretty much a gift I mean I would have to say we're definitely calling in favors I met Arthur in 2005 at WPPI um, I went to a presentation not knowing who he was or what, what he was all about and for two hours I sat in that audience and I wept. Not because he was telling a sob story, but simply because he has been the only photographer who's been able to give me the poetic words and meaning behind why I have to do this for a living. And he did that for the entire audience. I mean, he left people different for the better. And there's just no easy word to describe what he's going to do for us on May 27th. It's just one of those opportunities to reflect and internalize and start incorporating the big world of fine art and the big world of beautiful, poetic, meaningful portraiture into our work. Meaningful. Not just uh, capturing a likeness of somebody, but being able to capture an essence. It, I mean, it's such an art in, in, in terms of what he does. It's an art. Hi, Story. Glad to have you with us today. Uh, good to see you again. It's been a long time since last weekend, right? Uh, <laughs> Story and I were um, at the Photo Network Expo in Toronto, and uh, she and David were speaking there in uh, front of the crowd and, of course, sharing their wonderful knowledge with everybody. Uh, so thank you uh, for, for being a great face for PPOC and for PPOC Ontario Story. Um, now, with so many speakers in, that come and go in the GTA area, uh, there's lots of um, you know, workshops that go on and so forth. And I think a lot of photographers are, are sort of being choosy now in terms of how they're spending their education money. Um, hopefully photographers are budgeting for some education in their year. Um, and certainly, you know, what you're saying about Arthur is uh, very inspiring. I mean, it certainly makes me want to do that. I actually did see him um, in London at PPOC convention some years ago. And he was very, very inspiring, but I'm not going to steal your thunder. Um, what about, um, what about when people are looking to invest $200, I think what a lot of photographers are thinking in their minds is, well, it's great to be inspired and, and I'm excited to hear the, the wonderful things he's going to say about the medium and so forth. But how does that influence in terms of business? Does he, does he help in terms of a business connection for photographers other than just being incredibly inspirational? Do you think that there'll be some level of that at this, at this day with him that you're, uh, that you're throwing? Definitely. When we talk about his work, what we look at are marketable poetic portraits. So it's one thing to do something highly creative and artistic, it's another thing to be able to have a client base willing to invest in it. And that's exactly what he brings to the table. You know, it's interesting, when I went down to New Bedford, Massachusetts to study with him for two days back in, I think it was 2010, he brought somebody into the studio to be interviewed and photographed by him. Isn't that interesting? We never ask clients to come over to be interviewed, do we? But a lot of what he does is that getting to the essence of what somebody is all about. And there's a lot of quiet, open-ended questioning that invites trust and confidence to the point where a subject becomes so relaxed and so uh, reminiscent of a time or a place. And it only takes two or three photographs because the timing and the moment is there. The soul is open and ready to be photographed. You know, it's very interesting. I had, as part of my studying with Arthur, I had the chance to photograph Arthur. And we sat by his, in his 
tiny, beautifully appointed little studio, and we were quiet for so long, and it was my job to ask him about, you know, growing up and running a second-generation family portrait business for, you know, 30 years, and uh, his kids and his grandchildren, and we had this lovely conversation, and only when it was right did I press the button. And that's such a different experience from when we shoot and shoot and shoot and just, you know, it's like we're splattering the world with our continuous capture. And it only took three photographs, and I took this one of Arthur. Wow. And to me, he just stopped for a minute to just think about a question that I had asked him, and it just seemed like the right moment. And he's in such a beautiful place in this photograph, and I... If I was doing this on my own, I would have never thought to create this kind of environment. He teaches us things that will better you as a photographer because you're strengthening the connection with your client. That, that's a great story. It sounds, it sounds like it's going to be an amazing uh, meeting. I, I love the story about it. I, I, love, I love everything about it. We've got his flyer here and, and the images that he has there are beautiful as well. Uh, where can for those that are watching um, and that are interested in coming to the meeting, where can they find out more information about it? Well, the easiest link is just to go to our central branch um, website. But even easier than that is our brand new PPOC Ontario website because all the information is right there. So um, you know, PPOC Ontario, that's your ticket right there. You can actually see the flyer information and then use the Eventbrite uh, site to register. And our meetings, um, the next few meetings we're going to be having are at the Estonian Centre, which is basically Broadview and Danforth in Toronto. There's parking in behind. So it's a pretty easy venue to, to find as long as you have a map. You know, I just want to pick up on one thing uh, that Robert had said. You know, we're, we have to be selective about who we study with. You know, I think it's very important that you study with the people whose work and philosophy you admire and you ignore everybody else because everybody else will send you down a wrong path that it'll take years to fight back from. And Arthur's the kind of person that puts, you know, every sentence into your head and into your soul. And it's interesting, because I noticed on his flyer, he had this really interesting quote from Andy Warhol. And it said, they always say time changes things, but you actually have to change them yourself. And this is so interesting, because we hear photographers complaining that, it's the, you know, the industry is in a downward spiral and there isn't enough business and we're all having trouble making a living. And I really do think that once we start internalizing what can we do better and how can we bring more to our clients and how can we refine our work, how can we reinvest in training so every year we're getting better and stronger. And I think, you know, this is the guy that gives you the big picture. That's, that's great. And, uh, and I, I'm looking forward to it. Sounds like it's going to be a great event, and uh, and what a wonderful segue into uh, the next little bit that I, I, I'd love to give you a little bit of a shameless plug here. Um, I, I've seen you speak a number of times yourself and your colleague David Williams. I'm sure a lot of uh, our members have also seen you speak. Um, I, I understand that you guys have a workshop that you're hosting coming up. Why don't you give us a little bit of information about that? Well, David has always been legendary for his almost alone seminars, which is such a small group, about 10 people, that you feel you're almost alone. And, you know, big, vast lectures are interesting, but when you have somebody there that you can ask questions and review a portfolio and get out and practice behind the camera and actually see hands-on, it becomes not just a lecture but a real learning opportunity. So uh, we've been way too busy with work to run many workshops, so we've only got this one workshop in Toronto for three days starting on April 30th. That's Tuesday, and it's the only one we'll be doing in Toronto this year. So uh, we have a few spaces left, but um, uh, again, best way to find out more about that is to go to our website, so storywilkins.com, and then you can find the link for photographers and go on and find out about it. But this is hardcore skill sets before action sets kind of uh, programming that really focuses on weddings and portraits how to earn a living doing them, how to treat your customers well, and how to continue to perfect the quality of work that you're putting in front of those customers. That's great. Sounds like uh, it's going to be a great seminar. And uh, for those of you that are interested in finding more out about the uh, event, 
We will be posting all of the links for all of the things we've talked about here along with the video on the new PPOC Ontario website and that link is www.ppontario.com. Uh, so for now we're done. Story, thanks again uh, for joining us. Looking forward to the meeting and uh, until next time we'll see you then.